Hello everyone and in this video we will be talking about Lycopodium clavatum. Lycopodium is one of the most crucial remedy of the Materia Medica and is essential for the proper understanding of Materia Medica as whole. So let's start with a quick introduction to the medicine. Lycopodium is a low creeping perennial plant that grows almost everywhere but especially in northern countries. It was earlier used as drying powder by the nurses and as coating for the pills. Its common name is Wall's Claw or Club Moss and belongs to the family Lycopodiaceae and was proved by Dr. Hanneman. Lycopodium is also one of the greatest monuments of Hanneman's genius and it ranks with sulfur and calcarea carp at the head of antisoric remedies. These three remedies can be differentiated from each other in terms of sinking sensation. In calcarea, the sinking sensation occurs anytime, in sulfur it occurs at 11 am and in lycopodium sinking sensation occurs at 4 pm. Now moving on to the constitution of a lycopodium patient. Starting from the makeup of the body, lycopodium is suited especially for extremes of life, both for children and old people. Lycopodium patients are intellectually keen but physically very weak. The upper part of body is emaciated and lower part semi-dropsical. There is unhealthy complexion, anemic and pale complexion looks older than he is. This particular feature is also seen in Argentum nitricum, Sanicola, Curosote and even in Floric Acid. About the relation with heat and cold, Dr. Kent remarked in his book that the patient is sensitive to cold and there is marked lack of vital heat and worse in general from cold and cold air and from cold food and cold drinks. Now let's see how a lycopodium person is. To understand the mental symptoms of a lycopodium person, it is important to go back thousands of years ago. Lycopodium clavatum was actually a huge tree and then over the years it is reduced to a small fern, the club moss. Thus the main feeling in lyco is similar to that of the above one. It is that if a person remains small, his survival will be difficult, he will be humiliated, he will be nowhere. Thus, in the main theme of lyco therefore becomes ambitious. A desire to go bigger, a lot of effort which is concentrated fully on becoming bigger, being more powerful, reaching to a highest position, the top rung of a ladder. Lycopodium is so ambitious that he can employ any means to achieve success. He can dictate, dominate and will take the help of anyone he can. But Lycopodium people have one big fear and that is fear of undertaking new challenges, facing new situations and meeting new people. Thus, Lycopodium lacks confidence. If he is incapable, he develops an anticipatory anxiety from their lack of confidence. Lack of confidence is also seen in Silesia, but the difference in Silesia is that it is not whether he is actually capable of doing the task that bothers him, rather it is that his image should be protected at all cost. So basically, Silesia is afraid to go on stage while Lycopodium is afraid to speak. The another important rubric about Lycopodium is love of power. Lycopodium represents a constant struggle between cowardice and egotism, between lack of confidence and haughtiness, between timidity and dictatorial attitude. The person is scared of those in authority but to those for whom he can represent it, he is rude and contemptuous. Another important feature of Lycopodium is that he is a grateful person. If somebody has done something for him, he is bound to remember and return the favor when the opportunity comes. He is also much affected by gratitude as well as ungratefulness of others. Under the irritable exterior, he is a sensitive person and can weave while watching sentimental scenes of both joy and sorrow. Another peculiar feature about Lycopodium is weakness of memory. Lycopodium accounts a lot of mistakes, especially in speech and writing. Despondent, another peculiar feature about Lycopodium constitution, which Dr. Kent himself has mentioned, he says that the Lycopodium patient wakes up in the morning with great sadness and gloom. The sadness is such that as the world may come to an end, or the whole family may die, or the house may burn up. 
There seems to be nothing cheering and the future looks black to them. Now let's understand some peculiar features about Lycopodium. Starting with the headache of a Lycopodium. A Lycopodium is subjected to periodical headaches and his headache is usually connected with gastric troubles. It's such that if he goes beyond his dinner hours, a sick headache will come on. This can be compared with cactus headache. The distinguishing feature is that with the Lycopodium headache, if he eats something, the headache is better, while in cactus, headache is worse after eating. Another peculiarity about Lycopodium is the wings of nose flap with effort to breathe. Often this symptom is compared with Antim tar. But the main difference between the two is in Antim tar, there is rattling of mucus which can be heard across the room and the patient is seen to be distressed. However, in case of Lycopodium, there will be rattling of chest but there will be no expectoration. Another peculiar feature about Lycopodium can be seen in case of a sore throat. Usually the complaints in Lycopodium spread from above downwards. It has been seen that it often comes in the upper part of pharynx and spread down into the throat. Usually, a sore throat is better from swelling, warm drinks, but in some cases it is even better from cold drinks. In Lycopodium, there is a sense of satiety, an entire lack of appetite. He feels so full that he cannot eat. After eating, he is distended with lactose and get momentary relief from belching, yet he remains distended. There is excessive accumulation of flatulence. In Lycopodium, the flatulence is confined more to the lower part of the abdomen, unlike China and Carbovich. In China, where the flatulence spread over the whole abdomen, whereas in Carbovich, it is confined to the upper part of abdomen only.